graffiti artist who's making his mark in New York City. On New York City. Banksy. 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 I've heard about this guy for years. He's like the most famous artist on earth. He's anonymous in the age where it's nearly impossible to be anonymous. Banksy has promised to create a new work of art every day this month in New York. With Banksy, you never know what happens tomorrow. It's stopping people dead in their tracks. Banksy managed to create this huge installation on the Lower East Side without anyone seeing him. The audience participation was a part of this show. This is public art, public space for anyone to experience and to enjoy together. It's like performance art. It's like epic street theater. It was like a happening, just this momentary thing, and either you were there or you missed it. It was driving a Banksy around the city and hordes of people following it. Gotta get in, get my picture. The response to it would be part of the art itself. Not everyone is happy with Banksy tonight. NYPD is hot on his trail. The NYPD is vowing to arrest the artist. Police are still trying to track this guy down. You running up to public property and defacing it is not my definition of art. The twist of Banksy is that when he vandalizes your property, its value goes up. You try to get some bread. This is mine. Oh, you want us to pay to take a picture? Yes. So people are taking Banksy's work. Guys, step back, step back. They're cutting them out of the wall and they're selling them without authorization. This is the Banksy portion of the auction. There's been a rash of greed surrounding the concrete sphinx he put up on Tuesday near City Field. If you don't understand the social currency involved in this, please put it back up. Do you really want to own a Banksy that badly? Yeah, yeah. How this piece created what we New Yorkers love. A fight on the streets. 